Holy smokes, I didn't think there would be a client that could match or even surpass better better our client Today ladies and gentlemen, I think we just found that I am in such shock right now if it has all the features that I seen You guys are in for a treat watch this video. You're about to be shocked All right settings global resource pack. What we're gonna be reviewing is Lucina client v1 Oh my god, and by the way, this is not Luna client at all it's not this is a whole completely new client that's not copying or trying to leech off of lunar client i just want to disclose that i am so hyped and it's 22.5 megabytes that is oh that is like way bigger than better better no hate to better better you know i love you but let's enable this does it have any sub packs it does gui scale support oh i like how it has that fps boost Ooh, we don't need that but FPS boost is there. FPS boost with G. Oh, so there's a GUI scale support and an FP. Oh, I like how they did that. What's the last one? And a G. Okay, beautiful. We're just going to keep this on this. Exit it out. Let's go back. Oh. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving this one. Now, the UI kind of looks like Lunar Client, but it's not. Okay. Like I said, I already put a disclosure. This is not Lunar Client. This is not trying to leech off a of Lunar Client. It, please just I'm just putting that disclosure. Oh my god. This looks insane. Let's click on the play real quick. Whoa, so quick play I'm pretty sure that creates a whole new let, let's try that real quick quick play. All right We got a little loading animation. Okay had a little screen right there still loading. Oh Oh I love that so if you just want to quickly make a world and just get straight into minecraft this quick play feature just does everything for you. It makes the world, it doesn't change the name, obviously. It's probably just gonna be New World or My World. And it just quickly makes this about, actually, this is a creative world. So if you just wanna make a quick creative world, click on quick play. That comes in handy, especially if you're trying to record content quickly. I like that. We do have a mod section. We're gonna about to check that out in a bit. We gotta check out the settings and everything that they have in store. Oh, you got mods, hide, menu. Oh, like I said, we're gonna check this out in a bit. Let's click on the X. Let's check out the rest of the features. I'm pumped. Create new. Uh, okay, so this is how you create the new world if you don't want to just quickly make a creative world. Um, we have a little world thing. We got friends. I like how that's organized on the right side. I like that. And then we have multiplayer. Oh, this multiplayer looks so much cleaner. It is still the default Minecraft UI, but it looks much cleaner. And I love how they put everything on the right. <sighs> wow. Go back. Um, let's see cosmetics. Oh, I like how they did good edit. Can we edit it? That's where the GUI scale support comes in handy. So yeah, that's basic. I love how they did that because there is some pack where you have to click on a random spot just to hit a button. But with this, like I said, change the GUI scale. Beautiful. Two of me. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let's go into store. Okay. Store is looking like your, your average marketplace It's literally the same. Let's go back. Let's go into settings. Oh, I thought the whole settings UI would be changed, but apparently not. We got the max frame rate. Does it work? Oh, it's laggy. Oh, it works all right. First person's perspective. We got the FOV. I like how they have the quick settings right there. Controller, everything looks the same. Profile, video, everything looks the same. So it just only added a little quick. That's not bad. You don't want to be overwhelmed with a lot of things, but at the same time, I kind of wish that they had a little mod section just to make life easier, but it's fine all right and we have a discord server make sure you join the discord server the link will be down below that's how you are able to download this client make sure you join the discord it'll be down below seriously but let's just get straight into the world we're just playing and check out this working mod menu all right so simply if you're on mobile you can just hit the button on the top left or if you're on pc you could just click on pause and if we hit on the There's a mm, better, better our client has some competition for once. Mod menu, Lucy on the client. So we can see that we have an armor, armor status, direction HUD, crosshair, scoreboard, chat, bottom chat, pack display, fake hacks. What? Watermark, title, subtitle, and action bar. And we have a boss bar editor. Oh my God. <sighs> This is insane. There's so, and I just accidentally backed it. That's gonna take me some time to get used to that little X on the top. I keep thinking that's it's gonna take me some. It's gonna take me some time. We got the hide and it hides everything. 
Um, we got menu. Oh, we so we got a mod and we got a menu. So if you want to disable all those things on the side, you get to save with the menu and to save with the hide. That looks pretty amazing. But let's see some of these um mods work. So, and I did it again. I'm telling you, it's gonna take me some time to get used to not clicking that X. First things first. Um, let's actually put some armor on us. So, let's do this. Get a sword, diamond sword to be exact, and we can see that the armor HUD is on the left. Um, go over here to mods, armor status, and how am I gonna go back? Oh, go back. There you go. And voila, it's there. And like I said, if we want to disable it, we can always disable it. Mods, and it's disabled. Wow. <laughs> it just make it. You know what puts a smile on my face is that like I wasn't one of the first client creators to actually like well, content creators to be exact to actually review clients. But I, I, I could say that I'm probably the biggest <laughs> client uh, content creator there is. And just see these client contents just especially texture packs that's what makes it insane is that it's a texture pack that you could just literally it, it's i don't think java will be able to do this at all this isn't this is the next level stuff right here you can go over here to mods um direction hud i'm pretty sure if we crouch is where we can see the direction hut yep it's on the bottom left eh, it's not bad you know it's pretty useful for survival or factions if you play factions bad not bad what else do we got cross there now the fact that we can enable crosshair like this is insane. So let's enable it real quick. Oh my God. So we can uh, select or deselect the crosshair that we want to play with. So the crosshair right now is just your average crosshair. If we change it to the circle, will that actually work? Holy smokes. <laughs> what? This is a... This is a texture pack, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a client exe or, or app. What? Okay, let's go back. Mods, crosshair. Um, let's change it to which one do I like more? Mm, I like this one. This is this is more my style. Click on this. Turn off crosshair. Turn off mods. Wow. Over here to mods, let's see what else we got. Cause I'm actually just shocked. Scoreboard, bottom chat, let, for better, better our client, better, well, bottom chat does somewhat work. I think I did it wrong, but it doesn't really work as properly as usual. So we could just say, uh, let, let's say something in the chat real quick. Full. You can see that the chat is on the top left. Let's go to mods, bottom chat. Let's enable that real quick. And you can see now it's on the bottom properly. So beautiful, I, wow. <laughs> Wow. All right, mods, um, watermark. Um, oh, okay. I mean, if you want to have the loosen up client on the bottom right at all times, you can. I don't know why you would, but I mean, some people may want it. What is this? Before we review the fake hacks, pack display, let's see if it actually, oh, on the bottom right. It is kind of overlapping. Oh, never mind. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's see what else we got. Mods, um, pack display, turn it off. Fake hacks. What? Vape V4 hitbox safe. <laughs> do, do we actually have like Fulbright? Let me make it nighttime real quick if we can. Uh, slash night. Oh, let's just make it uh, midnight. And we don't. Okay, so I don't know why you would have that. Maybe for trolling purposes, question mark? I have no idea. Let's turn it off real quick before I get canceled. Wow. This is a client. And then we can see our friends over here. Oh, okay, beautiful. We can add people into the world. Okay, okay. Wow, I can't believe these clients are getting this good. Like, look at that. This is better than better, better our client for now. Cause better, better our client now has some competition with UI. We can say better, better our client is better. You know, they, they've been doing insane things. Animation is on point. Um, settings is on point. Everything is on point, but we can say with overall features, especially the crosshair. Oh, we can say the mod menu for loose and a client is far more superior than better, better our client. So for mod menu purposes, Loosen the client is better and for overall aesthetic and just cleanness and just UI better, better our client is way more superior. We can be straight up honest there. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's go into hive real quick before we end this video. I want to see if this works. This should work on a hive, but 
we're just going to double check. And I'll tell you what features you can have enabled and disabled for basically every server you go to so you don't get banned. I don't think there's any bannable features that's on this surprisingly good, but just to make sure. Wait, do we have a cape? Oh, we don't have a cape. Okay. And I'll, okay. Not bad. So features you want to have disabled. I mean, armor status, direction HUD, crosshair, bottom chat, chat. I mean, none of these are really bannable features unless you had like a, you know, a hitbox on you that you can see everyone from further away through blocks. He has P, that would be bannable. But there's nothing here that's bannable. <sighs> Thank God. Because the client I was going to review before this had hitbox and I just decided not to review that client because I do not want to get bashed on and people start using this on Hive or other servers and then, you know, it gets annoying. And this works for mobile, PC, and I think potentially console as well. Wow. These clients are just getting better and better each and every day. Seriously. And if you want to download this client, make sure you check the description below. Um, join the Discord server. There will be a little download section right there. Click on the download section and then there will be a link. Click on the link. Download it. Easy peasy. 11 squeezy. It's not hard. Gets the job done. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching the video. It's your boy Patsar. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>